Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia, and today I'm going to show you the nicest van you will ever see. Period. We're talking used cars. This one is stock number A9050. It's a 2019 Kia Sedona SXL Plus. It's the nicest Kia van they've ever made. It was also celebrity owned. We'll talk about that in one second. All right, here we go. So let's talk about that celebrity factor first of all. This is the 2019 Kia Sedona SXL. It was owned and driven by David Hearn, professional golfer who's from Brantford here. All right, here we go. Projector, projector beam headlights out front. Down low, you've got the uh, nice LED fog lights as well. You'll notice there's a little black dot there. That is the beepers for the front. So I can maybe show you a better one in the white paint there. So when you pull forward, you have uh, beepers on there. So that'll tell you as you're approaching something. The other thing you have when you pull forward is, I don't know if you can see it in that view. Let's see if we can get to it. That is a little camera. This has 360 view camera. So this has every single option you can imagine. In addition to having, you know, typical van stuff, you've got LED lighting across for the marker lights there. You've got chrome down here surrounding the fog lights there. Here's what the wheels look like. I'll try to get out of the shadow there. Nice chrome wheels there as well. Scrolling back out, chrome door handles. Got uh, signals in, or sorry, uh, cameras in the mirrors. We'll talk about that in a minute. White everywhere. Looks really sharp in white. There is your SXL badge. And it's actually an SXL Plus. It's got everything. So even the diffuser down low, you have a nice sort of metallic trim looking uh, piece there. Come around the side here. We're going to hop inside because this is going to be a little bit of a video here to show you. I won't be able to touch on everything, but I'll touch on a lot of things. All right, first of all, push button start. There we go. That means keyless entry as well, which means the key stays in your pocket the entire time. You do not have to uh, take it out of your pocket to unlock the car, to get into the car, anything like that. Just gonna turn the fan down here for a second. All right, left side, tachometer, right side, speedometer. You have some gauges for temperature and fuel below that. In the center, you can't see it very well, but that is a full display screen. That display screen tells you all kinds of things. Don't worry about the average fuel economy. This car's idling right now. It's not gonna be, that's an instant fuel economy grab. There's a whole bunch of things in there we can show you but we're gonna skip across over here first. Now, there is a wood trim. I don't know if you can see the wood trim look, but there's some wood grain there in the sunshine, you can sort of see it. Come across the big screen here, navigation of course, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, HD radio. It's got the navigation. Anytime you have a car with uh, satellite radio from us, you get three free months of satellite radio. It's not just the stereo, it is the Harman Kardon sound system. So fantastic sounding stereo. Down here, typical buttons you see in all of our minivans. So uh, there's the control sort of duplicate button so you can use the touch screen or you can use the hard buttons there down here you've got uh, automatic climate control it is dual zone automatic climate control so you can set the temperature uh, left and right and actually I said that incorrectly it is actually tri zone climate control because there's your rear controls as well so you can control all of the air and climate systems from the dash or you can allow the rear passengers to control their own that little clean air section there has an extra ion filter in there to take out things like allergens and pollutants it's amazing. All right, two tone dash. Again, I'm filming in some awkward sunlight here. Light color up top, dark color down low. Blends into the door there, looks really rich. Everything you touch, when your elbows land on those armrests there, those are soft touch armrests. Here's what the seats look like. They are leather, they are perforated leather. And the reason for that is because you have heated and ventilated seats. You can see this one here, I can control the seat. If I have my kids or somebody hopping in the back, I can move the seat forward from the driver's seat right on that side, and this is the passenger seat I'm looking at there. We're gonna show you the back seats in a second, but we'll just sort of pan around a little bit right now. And you can see that uh, you've got the captain's chairs in the middle there. They are the Lazy Boy style captain's chairs. So if you have kids, they're gonna love that. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, you've got uh, visors in the mirrors or in the windows here. So see that little tab there on the window? Oops, let me go the other way. Tab on the window, you could pull that up and you have those window shades on the uh, middle row seats and the rear seats to just give you some extra privacy and extra shade in there with the sunshade. You'll notice, of course, the rear sunroof as well. You don't see that on many minivans. The climate system that we talked about, you can control from the rear. If you trust your kids or whoever's in the back to play with that uh, climate, they can set their own climate. If you don't, you can lock that button out. Uh, vents in the ceiling there. In addition to the rear sunroof, there's also a front sunroof here, and that sun is shining bright through there. You can see all the power door buttons there, so you can open the power doors, uh, open the roof, and uh, actually, does the rear sunroof open? No, that's the sunshade. Sorry, that's the sunshade, yeah. Okay. No, the rear sunroof opens. I didn't even know that. That's awesome. Okay, now I'm pretty excited. That rear sunroof is open right now. I didn't know that opened. That's cool. 
Okay, now I'm even more pumped. This is awesome. So front and rear sunroofs open. That's so cool. Okay, sorry to get excited. I, I, we never see these vans. They don't make the high-end vans anymore. Okay, cruise control. Not just cruise control, but smart cruise control, which means it keeps the distance from the car in front of you. Works amazing. So if you have a car in front of you and it's going 80 kilometers an hour and you have the cruise set for 100, it'll slow down to 80 until they clear and you can use it to go past. I use the cruise control more in traffic than I've ever done in the port. It used to be you only use cruise control in uh, no traffic, but here I use it in, in traffic. Over here, some audio controls and some uh, um, Bluetooth phone controls. You've got automatic headlights there. I don't know if you can read that, but they, it does say automatic headlights. There's the fog lights there as well. Blind spot detection, lane keeping. I believe that's lane keeping. It might be lane departure, but I'm pretty sure it is lane keeping. Almost positive it's lane keeping. Uh, over here, automatic mirrors, uh, power windows, power locks. There is power seats up front, and you can see the the memory seats there as well. Um, so two, two different memory seats if you share this car with someone else. I'm gonna go down the, to the gear shift area. Eight speed transmission, so you can put it in drive. We'll do that right now. You can tap it this way, you can shift on your own. So if you wanna choose your own gears, maybe if you're towing a trailer or something like that, that's helpful. I'm gonna put it back in park for a second. We're gonna come back to that. Drive modes, you've got, uh, let's see, comfort, eco, and normal. So you've got three drive modes there. Uh, heated seats right there. I've got three levels of heat, seat heating. I call them rope roasters. Uh, ventilated seats as well. If I go this way, that's uh, three levels of ventilation. Three, two, one, zero. Put the heated seats back on. Heated steering wheel there. Electronic parking brake. You can see the same thing on the passenger side. There's a little view button here. We're going to throw it in reverse right now. If we throw it in reverse, you get... Now the glare is terrible on the camera, but I can see this perfectly clear from the... Um, without the camera. There's your backup camera there is a bird's eye view of the car. You can see we're sort of near these lanes there and you can see those lanes are still there. That gives you a perfect bird's eye view of the car when you're driving, super helpful. If I turn the wheel here, you can see that the guidelines will tell you where the vehicle is gonna go. And what I like is if I put, and if you just want to view just like maybe your parallel parking, you can view beside you, in front of you, you can change the view if you want. If you put it in drive right now, it'll show me in front of the car. So when I'm pulling up to a curb, I can hit the button and it'll park right up tight to the front. I can of course see it in the surround view camera as well. Amazing camera system. We have it in some of our other cars like the Stinger, uh, the Telluride top line ones, and yeah. Okay, up here, those little buttons right there on the mirror can open one of your three garage doors. And these little buttons here tell you you have Uvo intelligence. That also means you have uh, an app that can control this car for things like remote starting, uh, locating the vehicle, making sure it's locked after you've left, unlocking it, those kinds of things. Uh, super, super handy. I'm going to show you in here. Of course, there's the mirror. Oh, there's my camera. Uh, you got lights up there as well. So tons of stuff. I should show you the lights inside here as well. As we tap them on, they are bright white LED lights. They look super cool, super bright. Here's your little mirror to watch your kids. That's kind of nice. Whoops. There we go. Mirror to watch your kids there. So you have your regular mirror and your mirror to watch your kids. All right. I'm still super pumped about that rear uh, sunroof opening. I had no idea. We're going to hop out of the car. I'm going to turn the car off for a second. As we do that, these are the power doors. So what I'm going to do is just touch the button here, and that's going to open. So I can do that from my key fob, I can do that from inside the car, but I just wanted to show you that they are power. All right, here's all the seat controls. You can move the seat forward and back, and you know, you can tilt it, and you can move it side to side as well, or lots of other things. Um, there's cool things you can do, but one of the cool things you can do is you can do this little button right here, flip that up. Hey, these are lazy boys. Your kids, I can't call them lazy boys because that's a brand name, but your kids are going to love that on a long road trip. And of course, you can slide it back and make it comfortable for an adult as well. So lots to show you. Both the passenger seats here do that. The rear seats, tons of room back there as well for adults or anybody. And there's that rear sunroof that opens. That is so cool. I had no idea. All right. I should really know my product better than that. I should have known that. Touch the button or touch the door wherever you want. The doors will shut on their own. I'm going to go around the trunk now. Instead of opening that, that is also a powered trunk. So we can hit the hold button here. As we do that, you can see it's blinking, it opens on its own. I believe this also has a smart trunk, which means you can just approach it with the proximity key, and it'll open on its own. Huge deep well down here. Amazing car, amazing, amazing car. Over here, where are we going? There we go. If you got a laptop or a cooler or anything else you wanna plug in, that's a regular tw um, 110 volt uh, plug. There's also a 12 volt plug there as well. And if you want uh, on this side here, that's where your tire jacks are. So these seats can fold down and flat. You'll have just captain's chairs left. There's an other uh, 110 volt plug, so another standard plug in the back of the front armrest there that is identical to the um, back plug here. So lots of options for plugs. There you go, like I said, David Hearn, professional golfer, used to have this vehicle. 
it could now be yours. It is a really, really incredible car. So there you go, everybody. Thanks for watching. Sorry I went a little longer than usual, but this is a really amazing car that we do not see many of. We don't see many of the very, very top-line cars. So as you can tell, I'm excited about it. You'll be excited to own it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.